my goodness. Oh, look at that relationship smash up this morning. Welcome <laughs> to the Friday edition of the Roundtable. I am Shelly Ann, and with me is, of course, the fabulous co-host, Miss Barbie. And we have a special guest joining us on the Roundtable, as we usually do, who is absolutely no strangers to the lights, the camera, and the action. Of course, we're talking about filmmaker Kevin Jackson. Good morning, hello, sir. Hello, hello. Thank How you, you for having do? me. Oh, I'm you're good, a I'm filmmaker. Good. I always, always wanted that. to say that. Lights, camera, action, <laughs> cut. <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty much what it's all about, right? Um, no, being a filmmaker in Jamaica is a very interesting space. Um, it's difficult, but at the same time rewarding. Oh. You know, we get to create these stories that are in our heads, um, bring them to life. Um, of course, outside of that, you know, you have your commercial work, which yes. So you have to kind of conform to what the clients want. So you don't and, get to do the art, right? But Whoa. in our spare time, when we, we we find the time, we we try to create stories that people can enjoy. Beautiful. You know? Well, I'm excited about that. We'll speak about that after. Right. I have some ideas. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh-oh. Okay, let's mm, get right? into... What do you mean, uh-oh? Uh -oh. Let's get into the social buzz of the morning, Barbie. So, so listen. The social buzz of the morning... Oh. <laughs> the bumper. Yes, yes. So... We are going to look at a tweet. Let us see, no? Spent my whole Friday watching Reese's Thesis 50 part TikTok oh. series that detailed her relationship with her ex husband, who is a pathological liar. I mean, such disbelief. Please like and say psych. Deserve. Y'all see this? You see it? Listen, if this is not Have a social buzz, it? if this is not a social buzz, I don't know <laughs> what. Mm. Kevin. Have you been watching it? I just started last night. Kevin, you're late, so, man. Yeah, man. I'm I am late. up to I'm 51. I'm, I'm not, what? you're not that late. Wow. You're not that late. <laughs> I'm up, I, I think I just hit 30, mm -hmm. right? But this is like literally, I heard a conversation about it, overheard a conversation so a little bit in the makeup room. And I was like, okay, I don't know what they're talking about, so let me not join. But then that same day, um, Kamisha came in and she starts telling me about it. Yes. And I'm like, no. So she sends me the link. The next day I came in, I said, look, move my seat. I don't want to sit next to, I move my desk. I don't want to sit next to Kamisha anymore. She mm -hmm. does not have my best interest at heart. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. thing had me captivated the whole body. Night. Wow. Thank Kamisha. Because first of all, <laughs> let me tell you this. Authenticity is the magic. That's why I, this I lady keep sat it. in yes. her car and have us captivated yes. for something over I'm like about five hours. And she's an excellent storyteller. She is because this whole thing could be could have been very different if somebody else had tell the story all mixed up, mixed up, and you can't understand what they're saying about. Let me tell you something. She is detailed. You're following everything. You see when when one section ends and she said, go to the next section, see ya? Because mm. <laughs> you want to know. What else this man do? Yes. And it what is I very love, interesting. What I love is, I love how, for, for one, it's very authentic. She didn't start it to actually, for it to be where it is right now. Right. She, you could, you can definitely tell that she began this whole thing just to be able to tell, to her, tell story. her story. And that was it. And then I like that she... I like that she, the way that she details everything, mm -hmm. and if she, if something needs to be clarified based on responses yeah. or anything like that, oh. she comes back and she clarifies she, yes, it. And then another thing is she didn't have to do this, but she protected the people yes. who she were a part their names. of it. She changed oh, okay. their names yes. and she did everything, okay. so she made it about her and not about. Mm -hmm. All okay. I'm going to tell you, sir, Kevin. Yeah. You're just a start. If you have things for do, just <laughs> just just leave it and go and do it that's, because that's exactly visually <laughs> there's really not a lot of things no, going man, on. I know that. I, yes, I, man. So I just make it play. Episode and I was mm -hmm. like, yeah, man, I, let me not touch this right now. Come yes, man. Work, you don't have to watch it, though. Mm -hmm. You can yeah, you can just listen oh, okay. to it. You so don't if you have, have like house work or something yeah, around yeah, the house, yeah. you can just leave it, make it play, and just get on with the business. If you're fixing a car or whatever, just leave it, make it play, man. Is the most intriguing story. And you know what? I really do hope that she finds some sort of benefit from going through this I because it can will, be very because, cathartic. Yeah. Because it was popping up on my TikTok, you know, and I kind of just ignored it because I was just like, all right, I don't know what this is about. And then somebody sent me a video yesterday with a man saying, have you all seen this show? Yes. <laughs> Stars like, commented on her. Yes. And Ola, 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 and Ola, the, the man. The We're man not going to tell the whole series. Mr. Tisa story. Says somebody need to forgive us. Mm. Make the people them watch it. Go and go watch it. Ah, yes, yes, please. Get into please. The bag of things. And I see the bag. <laughs> I see the bag. <laughs> All 
right, so y'all know me. I like my African things. And so I always have my necklaces. Ooh. So I decided to come and show thank you, you my... No, no, it's not a gift, Barbie. Thank Barbie, don't, tell, don't say thank you. Thank I'm just showing you, it to you. Jelly. I'm showing you some of my Maasai beads. Oh, nice, And I love these because oh, I, I think that they are too. the ultimate accessory and they really add a lot of uh, oh, something yes. to your outfit. No, I see Barbie yes. having a nice time, but Barbie, yes. don't make me have your fight in here. Next thing you hear about the, the, the other TikTok scenario TikTok. when they video the 12 we are fight. This one can right? So these are my side beads and yes. a lot of them were gifts. And what I what I what I do is I have friends who are musicians. Barbie, you're a cute man. And when they go to Africa on tour, I tell them they need to bring me beads. And I intend to go to Africa myself, and I'm mm. accepting money. So if you want to give me a change, because I need money to buy beads. When I go to Africa and come back, I'm bringing an empty suitcase just for my beads. Because if you want to give me a gift, get me some Maasai beads. But I really, really love them. As you can see, they're very, very nice. You can dress them up. You can use it to dress up any outfit. And you can just add a touch of color and zhuzh. And as you, as you can see, they're worn by African royalty. And every woman looks good in Maasai beads. Ba Barbie, woman, really? This is what you're doing, Barbie? Every woman looks good in oh, Maasai Oh, my goodness. Beads. I don't know what is happening on the set this morning. I do actually. But yes. This is my bag of things, and I encourage you, if you don't own a piece, to get one. It really does I agree. gives you a feeling of something it when you put it on. Thank you, right? Shelley. <laughs> Thank but of you. course, I talk about something, something hot. Let's see if we're going to get anything to eat this morning or if it's just the box. It's just the box. I, oh, gosh. I need to stop bringing up my homework. So, Bobby, put back the things I'm in the bag. I don't know what is I wrong will. with you. Speaking of... Maasai beads and African Some things. Let's talk about Black History Flicks. It's Round Table Flicks, Black History Edition. So, tell me something. You like the Black History movies? I love history. Oh. I love. I love history. So I'm a history buff. Um, I love a good story. Um, and I. So I definitely. I love Black History. I love love any story where history is concerned. But I am absolutely like in love and just like totally attached to black stories and just black people on TV All and right. on camera, really. So let's get into it. We have a filmmaker here. So let us ask the expert. Mm. What would you say are your top three black history films? Top three. All right. Mm -hmm. So that's a hard one because there's, there's so many, so, so many. But I would have to go with... Um, What's his name? Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's a classic, um, though, right? Yep. Um, Malcolm X. Everybody loves Malcolm and X. City of God. I don't City remember that God. one. Which one was oh, that? Wow. So that's a Brazilian movie. Oh. Um, that movie is what made me want to get into filmmaking. Why? What about it? There, there are several things about it. One was the cinematography was very, very interesting at the mm -hmm. time. They were doing some very, really cool things. And of course, just seeing black people on screen in, in that way, and it just reminded me about Jamaica. Like, okay. when I watched it, I thought to myself, I'm sure it's not Jamaica, this? Like, they literally, you know, like, how our very tumultuous political history from right. 1970s come up. Come right back, They yeah. pretty much have the same thing. And yeah. it almost explains to you why the violence just perpetuates today. Okay. And just seeing it, you know, examined like that, I was like, wow, like, this is, this is... This is the problem that we're having. Interesting. Yeah, so what did, what did you like about Malcolm X? I know what I liked about um, Malcolm X. To be honest, <laughs> let me tell you why I like Malcolm X. So, I mean, maybe it's just me, but I feel like every Black History Month, you hardly get anything on Malcolm X. You get a lot of things. Well, even with MLK, Day, you get a lot of things about uh, Martin Luther King. You get yes. a lot of things about every, other every, people. Everybody idolizes MLK. Right, but they kind of right. stay away from Malcolm X. Yeah. I guess because he's the more controversial one. Right. and don't really fit into the, the narrative that certain people want to, 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 to push, right? I think he's just misunderstood. I won't call him like about the movie. Um, <laughs> no, but I just liked, I liked his journey, his journey mm -hmm. from being, you know, um, this kind of mm -hmm. selfish criminal yeah. to basically evolving into somebody that realized that, wait, there's a higher purpose. Mm -hmm. um, I need to embrace this higher purpose. Yes, and it's growth. Yeah, you know, mm. and, and, and stand for something, stand for, for, for his people. And the message was just very powerful. Yes, I you agree. Know, I thought the message was very powerful, you know, embracing blackness, embra yeah. bla embracing our um, historical culture, because we adopt a lot of what we 
have as our culture is adopted from the people that had enslaved us. Right, and so, it's, it's the environment that we're in. Mm -hmm. uh, what about do the right thing? What did you like about that? Oh boy, that, I mean, on <laughs> one hand, topically, <laughs> the, 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 the social commentary, but on the other hand, the, the camera angles were yeah. very experimental and just very interesting. And that's yeah. a spiky. Of, yeah, man, the that's choice of lenses. It was just, even though I was really young at the time and I couldn't necessarily appreciate it, I no, knew I was there was something different. I was about to say, how old were you when Do the Right color, Thing was Everything out. about Do the Right Thing was absolutely, the color in, yeah, in Do the Right Thing, the, just the, the, the characters, yeah, the, the images, characters. everything in that movie was so like intentional yes, to really bring yes. up. So even though, even though the settings were like in the hood and so it didn't, it literally, it gave light, it gave life yeah. Yeah, to liked... everything. Spike Lee gave life in every scene. It was intentional, like it was yeah. a punch. Every scene of that movie Why only sound very philosophical. <laughs> I liked the movie because I thought it was funny. I, I had some laughter in that movie. It As was. a matter of fact, it came out in the 80s, so I probably shouldn't have been watching that movie. But you know, we had VCRs at the time and cassettes. And when we come back from the break, we'll explain that to the young people. We'll be right back. VCRs and cassettes. Welcome back to the Roundtable. This morning's topic is Roundtable Flicks, Black History Edition. So, Barbie, you are going to tell us your three top picks. Well, they're not my top picks, I, I will definitely say, but they are amongst my top, fix, top right. picks. So, I selected Hidden Figures. That's a good one. Yes, yeah, Hidden Figures. Boomerang. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, that's also a funny one. I love the Boomerang. Yes. I still love Boomerang to this day. Mm -hmm. And the harder they come. The harder they come. Okay, All right, so, okay. so, so come back with Hidden Figures. Tell us what about Hidden Figures that, that you loved. So as, as, you, you, when, as I said, I love history. Right. And I love black people in history, anything about that. No. As a little girl, which is when this this this, this storyline would have even been taking place, I saw like as a little girl, I saw when like rockets went up in, and I knew what NASA was and everything. I never saw black people right, as, a, right. as a part of that. NASA. Right. Mm -hmm. So when I saw this movie, it's not j even just that black people, but women at that yeah. and seeing them in there, and they were absolutely brilliant and showing you just the courage that yeah. it took mm -hmm. to even be a hidden. Because that, that's the thing, is that hidden right. figures, they were very much hidden yes. until this movie, yes. this story came out. They were very much that hidden. That is right. so true. Yeah. I found yes. out about these women through this movie. Yes. Yep, exactly. And what impressed exactly. me was that they were still alive at the time. At the time. Yep. So they got to see themselves being um, displayed on camera, which I think is so important. Because right. I always feel very concerned when we wait until people die before we honor them like that. Mm -hmm. You know, give them a chance to celebrate their work. So I thought that was very impactful. So that's a really good pick, Barbie. Yes. What about the other one? So, Boomerang. Boomerang. <laughs> yes, man. Young Eddie Murphy. We all like this movie. Well, most of us. This is a good one. <laughs> I, honestly feel like, I honestly feel like you can't be black if you've never seen Boomerang. Oh, like, no, no, Barbie. Like don't that. do that. Like, no, I Barbie, do. don't do that. I really Barbie, feel this like movie is old. It Young is. people don't know what is a boomerang. Yeah. Listen, and there's some people but in this so room. Is Titanic. Some people in this room yeah. never watch this movie. They need to though. <laughs> they need to watch Boomerang. Like Boomerang was like, listen, at the time that Boomerang, Tony Braxton was unknown before Boomerang, you know. She was just hitting her, her career. Oh, yes, she was some people who came out of Boomerang. Halle but Berry? No, listen, Halle Berry, Halle Berry became oh, Halle Berry. Yes. I was going because into of Halle, this movie. and the yeah. short hair became short hair the because short hair of this cut. movie, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But yeah, mm -hmm. Earth, yeah, Earth, like the great Earth, Jones. Like the great. Yeah. That was a yeah. good cast. Yeah, man, yeah. 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 excellent yeah. cast. And yeah. when you look at Boomerang, Boomerang was probably one of the first um, black films that had an all-star black cast, and even the extras in the background, all black. Yeah. It was a really good cast. It was, I mean, if you look at it right now and look at who yeah. was in the movie and look at who they are today, you're mm -hmm. like, then all of these people are massive stars. They were massive stars back then. Yes. But, I mean, even but, now, but Eddie, Eddie Murphy, Murphy doing Chris doing Rock. Yes. Eddie Murphy's uh, films yeah. have been doing, have that, been doing that. Yeah, awesome. This awesome. came about in a time when, um, mm -hmm. when, when black people weren't being put in films right. in major roles in a lot of these movies across, in Hollywood and in all of these different, um, th these different studios and... and, and and organizations, so they started to create their, their own. own. Yes, yeah. awesome, yeah. very important. Yeah. What was the third movie again? My third movie was mm -hmm. The Hard Day. Big, yeah. yeah. big movie, yeah. Big, big movie. movie. <laughs> <laughs> and that is definitely Jimmy in honor of not just black history, but also Jamaica, Jamaica yeah, and Reggae yeah, Month, The Hard yes. Day. You know, yep. seeing us, yes. I think it's very important to see ourselves yep. 
on screen and just seeing our in an authentic way which again yeah. is the importance of us doing our us telling our stories and not yes. letting other people tell our stories for us and us having the control i think that's very important yes, absolutely I, so. I think everybody in jamaica should watch this movie everybody in jamaica so you can't be jamaican if you don't well, watch yeah, no you can't how do they come yeah, like honestly, city children though. i watch it many times and one of the things that strikes me is the fact that there are a lot of the, th the topics in it Still happening today. Still happening today. Not for sure. Still happening today. But my thing, what I liked about this movie is that it's, this is this is probably the first time I saw Patwa on oh. screen. Oh. On it's screen. probably because usually, well, you know, when you see Jamaicans on screen, there's always the twanging, and you know, you always try but to this make one it was sound. Patwa. But actual Patwa was a new experience for me. Yes, so absolutely. that's what I liked about it. Okay, so my turn. Yes, uh oh, turn. Shelly yes, yes. Uh oh. Okay, so <laughs> uh -oh. all right. So y'all are gonna say this one is not a black movie. Because it's not. But I'm sure. Denzel Washington is in it, so that makes it black. <laughs> or at least a little color in the movie. Equalizer. I like that movie. Yes, I said it. The equalizer. Yes, so all of you debating that Shelly, this is not a black movie. Well, on a lucky is my pick. I picked it. What I loved about it is how Denzel. Story, no. eh? What you loved about I it? I love Denzel? Denzel. Yes, okay. and not just Denzel, but I liked the fact that he was a black superhero and he did not have awesome superpowers. He was just this this re no, trying to do something good, and he had his amazing skills, and he just made the movie bad. A bad yeah. black man. Bad black man. Do the thing. And he was a superhero because a lot of the times the people who come to save the days are usually not black. So that's why I liked it. This is true. So yes, this I picked Equalizer. True. So Abey, right. my other pick, <laughs> my other pick is of course Wakanda Forever. Of course. Right. Like seriously, anybody who never liked this movie, Abey, mm -hmm. we outnumber mm -hmm. you because this movie was everything. I love the fashion in this movie. I love the fact that they were cool because it wasn't like pretentious and I love the world that they created. The world where colonization did not happen, mm -hmm. where they were just beautiful in their own different levels of authenticity, where it gives us an idea of what we would have been if we were never colonized. So did you know, Shelley, that this particular movie, right, this particular movie got literally less than half of the budget that all the other oh, really? movies, Marvel movies, Marvel movies mm -hmm. got to, yes, to produce mm -hmm. and to work with. Mm -hmm. It also was not expected Yes, ma'am, well you know, they underestimate you all the time, but right? yeah, it's bad, yes. they made a mistake yeah. with that one. And of course, my <laughs> third pick is, what was my third pick again? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know if this is a black movie again, but you know, I just tell you what I pick. It's me pick them, but the help. Oh, I wow. liked oh, this movie oh. because it was so sassy. I like the sass of Olivia Spencer. Mm -hmm. Yes, she was the one who baked the pie. Oh boy. Yes. <laughs> If I'll you watch the movie, you know what I'm talking about. We'll give you this one. We'll You'll give, give it, it this, uh, this one qualifies? Yes, this qualifies. Yeah, Sorry, qualifies. Octavia qualifies. Spencer. Yeah, this, it qualifies as a black it movie? It qualifies. And yeah, the reason it qualifies, yeah. too, okay. is because it def definitely touches on history. It definitely touches on roles of black women and the okay. powerful roles that they had. Even when they were in the background, these were the women that were raising yeah. the I children just love and them running the smart and sexy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and you get I to see who they were. But we gotta go to the breaks. We're having too much fun. We'll see when we get back. Thank you so much for staying with us. Boy, the time really do fly when we're talking about great, great movies. And so it's time for our final thoughts. And before we go to final thoughts, I have to say this quick. Honorable mention from the control room, coming to America. It, it, it is worth, it's a good one. Yes, yes, big up you for that. Great stuff, Eddie Murphy again. But uh, um, Kevin, what are your final thoughts? Um, my my honorable mention would be Lean On Me mm -hmm. with um, Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, that movie, it was just inspirational. It was, I don't know any other way to put it. You know, they had these black people at this school, public school, and the school is, you know, very depressed. And it's one of those things where nobody has hope for this school. Yes. But this and he came in comes and saved and just the day. Believes mm -hmm. in it and just decides. And it's yeah. actually based yeah. on a true actually, story. Actually, it's not Sam Jackson. I'm thinking of a different Morgan movie. It's Morgan, Morgan Freeman. Freeman. Morgan. I just right. thought about it. I it's based on a true story. story. Yes. But yes, Morgan Freeman. But yeah. yeah, man, that movie, I watched it as a kid with my parents, and I just loved it. It's an excellent it. movie. Yeah, man, loved it. I saw it on TV recently, and I mm. watched it again. It was yeah, it's man, a really very good movie. Inspirational movie. Yes. Very much very inspirational. 
So if I give honorable mention, I can only give one because I love New Just Jack City. Just do it City. in that time frame. Go on. New I Jack City. New Jack. <laughs> New Jack City and Harlem Nights. Yes. Oh. And Harlem Nights and New Jack City, those are definitely you shot my pinky toe. Yo. Pow. <laughs> Pow. <laughs> uh, the baby put, put mama so, on. The so phone. what about cool running? Since I gave more than one. You didn't like cool, cool running? I did like cool running. Me never like cool running. But runnings. I didn't I I, I, I liked yeah, it and I also didn't like it. it. Yeah. I like it. I like that it told a story for us, but I didn't like that it wasn't very Inclusive of anybody of here liked Eddie Murphy's so, life. Eddie I Murphy and Martin. Life, life wasn't life. bad. Life yeah. wasn't life. bad. That life was bad. actually pretty that good. Was I look here. We could do this all morning. Could, Barbie, you could. have any more final thoughts you no, want to well, make? My only final thought would definitely be that we need more black stories, black movies. Um, we need to keep telling our stories and just don't stop because you, we have so many stories to tell. Well, I'm so happy to meet Kevin this morning because mm. he's a filmmaker and I like to see more of us become filmmakers because that is how we solve that problem mm -hmm. when we get to tell our own stories. So for me, my honorable mention is definitely going to be A Low Down Dirty Shame. I thought that movie was hilarious. If you know, you know. And of course, if I was going to pick a Jamaican movie that I really, really, really liked and I don't like a lot of them, Dance All Queen. And I, talk, and I, and I say Dance All Queen because... I actually followed the story. There were a lot of memorable moments in there, like Paul Campbell is. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> if you never watched a the movie there, after Go you watch it. it, you understand what I mean when I say Paul Campbell mm. in that movie. So Dance Out Queen was a really, really classic, epic Jamaican film that I actually like. There's a lot of them that I don't like. But I would like to see more of us become filmmakers, so more of our stories are told. Jamaicans are amazing, and we've got a lot of things yes. to talk about. So for sure, we should be able to hear, see more of us on screen. Not just black movies, but Jamaican movies. Jamaican movies. So, Kevin? Yep. The gauntlet is set at you. Big up yourself. Go to work if you're joining us. And it is happening. And we'll speak after I told you I have ideas. We sign some contracts and things, make it happen. And make sure you watch our movies when they come out. We've got to go, folks. But check out our new Sunrise YouTube channel at Sunrise CVM and the CVM News at CVM TV News. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell today. Remember, yes. you like the stream, so you have to subscribe so that we can start live streaming. Yes, because we have to get to 1,000. We have to get to 1,000. is 1,000. So you do it, and tell your friend to do it, and tell them to do it, and them other friend to do it, all right? It is Jamaica Day. Every day is Jamaica Day, but today is a special Jamaica Day. So happy Jamaica Day to all of you, and make sure you have an awesome, awesome, awesome weekend. And remember to be good and be on purpose. What good? Take care. Regardless of the economical condition, you must admit this is a glorious land. Say what a nice place we live. Sweet jam, don't be on the problem is. Tell us now, run, say what a nice place we live. Sweet jam, don't be on the problem is. Tell us now, run, so help me pick up Jamaica, the land of food and water. The system might not proper. We love the food, the vibes, and the culture. Whoa. Can't you see the beauty of this country? Me never know say that it's a serious thing until me reach in a foreign. Oh, what a nice place we live. Sweet jam, no, the only problem is Dallas Narrow. Oh, what a nice Sweet jam, you come on an island that. Me no stop love it. I mean, what the world massive love it and them respect it.